Hi everybody, I'm Mark Alford coming to you from the Shiloh Center in Harrisonville, Missouri. We're deep in the heart of the 4th Congressional District. And this center does something very, very important for women who are pregnant. I'm going to take you inside, let you meet the executive director and let her tell you how they help women. So here we are at the Shiloh Center. We're going to go in and meet the executive director now, Carol Thompson. How are you, Carol? Hey, I'm good. How are you, Mark? Good. This is beautiful in here. Well, thank you. Tell us, uh, what is your purpose here? What does the Shiloh Center do? Okay, we are here to help women with unintended pregnancies. So um, they don't know what to do. They're looking for options. So we talk to them about um, the different things that they can do. They can parent, they can adopt, they can have an abortion. Obviously, we hope that they don't do that, but it's their choice. We can't make them do anything, but we're here to inform them and empower them. All right, so back here is where we do our pregnancy tests. So. Uh, this is our nurse's office, and uh, we also do STI and STD testing, but we do the pregnancy tests in here. Uh, we make sure that the girl is alone. Um, we don't usually have the father of the baby or the mother, whoever is bringing them in, come in. We want to make sure that they're not being pressured. All right, so this is a counseling room. This is what we do after the test. We get the results of the test, and we bring them in here and talk to them and go over their options. Um, this is kind of a safe, quiet place for them to process and just talk to us about what they're thinking and feeling and a chance for us to um, give them some options you know what what options how far along are you uh, we really want them to come back and get an ultrasound so that we can um, see how far along they are that also depends on their options in this room this is where we do the sonograms or the ultrasound so um, they come in here, what we like to do is we have this big screen on mm -hmm. so they can really see the baby up close. Um, if they're just on that little monitor, they can't really see. So we turn that on. We have a sonographer that comes in. She has been doing this for 20 years. So she's a volunteer and she comes in and she just brings these babies to life. Even at six, seven weeks, she can point out the, the fingers and the toes. She can tell when they're hiccuping which they do that very, that early. And what are these used for? These are models, but it just kind of gives them an idea of what the baby looks like um, inside of them. So they're, it, it really makes it real mm -hmm. for them, so. And what's the reaction when they see their baby, God's creation on that screen? They get, most of them get very emotional. We, we have a lot of tears in here. We have Kleenexes and so. Um, most of them, you know, even the ones that are happy to carry, it's just such a reality that, wow, this is, this is setting in. Uh, the boutique is where, um, they can pick out all wow. of the stuff that they, this that is they like need. a store. It is. It's amazing. And this is all a hundred percent donated. We don't pay for anything. So we have so many people in the community that will come in and, um, drop off donations for us. So anything we have, um, we, we are. Um, we give out, we get formula quilts, yep. and we have several quilting groups and churches that make quilts for us. And these are brand new, they're, um, they're wonderfully made, and then we have the crocheted and knitted blanket as well. And some of these girls just, they've never had a mom or a grandma that crocheted or made anything for them, and so it's really a, a sweet thing to see these girls come in and think, wow, somebody made that? So there you have an, an amazing tour of an amazing place, saving babies year round here in Harrisonville. If you or someone you know needs help, please reach out to Shiloh Center here in Harrisonville. And there are other centers around the uh, fourth congressional district doing the same thing, helping women realize that there's an alternative to abortion.